going to welcome the man of God, Apostle Remy, all the way from USA. Yeah. Let's receive the blessing from him. He has come all the way to take you to your next level. Say next level. Yes, Put your hands together and celebrate the man of God as he comes. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look up and I saw that 2024 is your year of supernatural restoration. And when I look at the word that God gave me for you, I say, yes, I'm in the right place. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. I want you to shout. This year will not end without my supernatural restoration. Hallelujah. I didn't say natural restoration. I said supernatural restoration. There will be evidence in your life that God has restored you. Jesus. Now let me help you understand this. Whatever is restored is better than what was damaged. Amen. When you restore a 1995 car to 2024 standard, everything in that car has to be upgraded to 2024 standard. Yes. I want you to thank the devil for damaging you. And shout, the, the, the restored me will be better and greater than the damaged me. Now I want you to look back and kiss. Kiss the old you by. Kiss the old you goodbye. The damage you goodbye. Welcome in the restored you. Come on, somebody, welcome. Introduce yourself to yourself again. I say, introduce yourself to yourself again. Say, self, the restored me. Is better than the damage me. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. When I ask your, your, your parents to take their seat, now everybody remains standing. Just your Baba and your Mama. And I want you to put your hands together for them and honor them. As much as the Sometimes you have a good thing, but you don't know how good it is. Uh, let me tell you, not everybody has spiritual parents like your mama and dad. Amen. Hallelujah. So honor them. It's, a, it's an honor. I'm humbled to be here, my friend. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I want to read for you, in the interest of time, I'm just going to perhaps just make mention of the scriptural references. Second Samuel chapter 9, verse 1 to 9. Now David said, is there still anyone who is left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And there was a servant of the house of Saul whose name was Ziba. So when they had called him to David, the king said to him, Are you Ziba? He said, At your service. Then the king said, Is there not still someone at the house of Saul to whom I may show the kindness of God? And Ziba said to the king, There is still a son of Jonathan who is lame in his feet. So the king said to him, Where is he? And Ziba said to the king, Indeed, he is in the house of Mekir, the son of Amiel, in Lodabar. 
Now when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of David, of Saul, had come to David, he fell on his face and prostrated himself. Then David said, Mephibosheth. And he answered, Here is your servant. So David said to him, Do not fear, for I will surely show you the kindness for Jonathan, your father's sake. And we'll restore. Somebody say restore. Somebody say restore. Somebody say restore. Restore to you all the land of Saul, your grandfather, and you shall eat bread at my table continually. Then he bowed to himself and said, What is your servant that you should look upon such a dead dog as I? And the king called to Ziba, so servant, and said to him, I have given to your master's son all that belonged to Saul and to all his house. Father, we thank you, Lord. Bless this word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bring your greetings from the Glory Center and from my, my wife. You may take your seat. Yeah. Um, I want to start by uh, uh, alluding to Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and 19. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall, shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now, you can understand and appreciate Isaiah 43, verse 18 and 19 if you don't connect it to Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1. In Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1, it said, to, to know the end of the world. To everything, there was a season. Someone said, said, to everything, there was a season. Okay. I used to think that it is a season that, that brought the thing. But when I studied more, the Holy Spirit revealed to me it is the thing that ushers you into the season. Whenever God is ushering you into a new season, He brings a thing, a situation. And the situation does not match, that does not resemble the season that it is ushering you into. God will cause them to sack you, to usher you into your season of starting your own business. God will call a situation called sickness to usher you into healing. Well, I've stopped by to tell somebody appreciate the situation you are in right now. The situation is ushering you into your season of open heaven. To everything, there is a season and a time. So I'm going to say time. In the original language of the Bible, we have different dimensions of time. So I'm going to say dimensions of time. The first dimension of time is chronos. The unfolding of time. It is from that word we have the word chronology, the unfolding of time. Then we have kairos. A, a certain thing supposed to happen in kairos, with favor of God. But there is a dimension of time that we don't talk too much about because not a lot of people know about it. It's, it's, it is called spirit time or open heaven time in a spirit time or open heaven time this is where God blesses you out of time before time in time 
Out of time. Before time. In time. Out of time. Before time. In time. It's when God causes you for blessings. Ble- blessings that God has for you in 2026, 2026 to manifest in your life in 2024. 2024. This is a season that I've come here to, to usher you, you, you in. in. I call that open heaven time. Open heaven season. Oh, let me give you some word. Let me give you some word. The Bible says that King Nebuchadnezzar was in his palace in Babylon. The Bible says that King Nebuchadnezzar was in his palace in Babylon. Through Daniel, Shadrach, and Abednego, in the fiery furnace. But the Bible says that there was a, a fourth person, the Son of God, Jesus. Yes. The last time I checked, Jesus wasn't born in the Old Testament. Jesus was born in the New Testament. But there was a season that you are in. Because of your worship. Because of your consecration. Because of your praise. God said, I cannot wait to bless you. Then, I'm going to usher in. I'm going to come in. While the devil is trying to attack you in 2026, God will cause you to step into your blessings of 2026. In 2024, who am I talking to up in here? Heavens are open. As the heavens are open, tell five people, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready for supernatural restoration. restoration. Supernatural blessings. Oh, glory to your name, Lord. I feel God up in this place. I feel God up in this place. There's a shift taking place. Somebody say shift. Somebody say shift. 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 I know we're tight here. Set up, set up, set up, set up. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I gotta do this. On account of you, I want everybody to shift. Shift. Change, change position. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. On account of, of you. On account of you. Wait, wait, wait for instruction. One, two, three. Shift. Shift, 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 shift. shift. Everything in your life is shifting right now. I said, everything is shifting him. Your finances are shifting him. Your life is shifting him. Your marriage is shifting him. Your business is shifting him. I came here with a man. Your praise is shifting. Your worship is shifting. Your life is shifting. Your heart is shifting. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. I say open heaven. Look up, look up, look up. Open heaven. Open heaven. I say open heaven. Open heaven. Open heaven. Blessings are falling. I say blessings are falling. God ushers you into open heaven. Not because not because you deserve it, but for His name's sake. I say for His name's sake. For His name's sake. So He can be glorified in you. All your enemies. <laughs> who talk about you <laughs> they're going to look <laughs> and while they think that you are going down <laughs> God says it's your season <laughs> of <laughs> elevation <laughs> it's your season <laughs> of going up <laughs> I heard God so tell him the retraction process is over. The retraction process is over. When you're shooting a bow, now to you take it. We are tired. Error. You put it in a bowl. And you pull back. The further you want the arrow to go forward, the more you pull back. 
This is for those who've been saying, Lord, it seems like instead of going forward, I've been going backward. I see people going forward. And I'm saying, Lord, when is my time? Now is your time. I said, now is your time. Now is your time. God said, get ready. <laughs> On a count of three, you are going forward. You are being released. I said, you are being released. There are people who went before you. You're going to pass them. You're going to overtake them. It's your season. Shout. Hallelujah. 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 The retraction process is over. Over worship center. Over Swaziland. The retraction process is over. There are blessings waiting for you. There are doors open for you. When God releases you, no devil in hell, no weapon from against you shall prosper. Say, I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. Shake somebody's hand. I cannot be stopped. It's my season. I cannot be stopped. I'm going forward. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. I want to use for a subject. I didn't come here to preach to you. This is a prophetic declaration. I came here to establish you in your new season. Believe in the Lord God. You shall be established. Believe in his prophet. You shall prosper. Someone say prosper. Someone say prosper. Someone say prosper. I prophesy over you. Some of you before this year is over. God is going to bless you in such a way that people will envy you. People may think that you have like a sugar daddy. They may think that you're doing something illegal. This is a blessing. Blessing. Let I call so. it stupid blessing. Let I say stupid it. blessing. It won't make sense. You will get promoted when you don't really qualify for it. Money will come from the north, south, east, and west. The neighbor, get ready. Look at the king God. has sent for you. Say, I said, get ready. Lungela. The king Ingos. has sent for you Say, the messengers nah, from the palace have sent Ingos. for you. Says, okay, 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 okay. Oh. Mephibosheth was in, the, in Lodabar. While his name was being mentioned in the palace. But that comes a point of time where your presence must match where your name is being mentioned. So when that time comes, the king will send for you. It out to me like a to me the neighbor, to my the king, it goes has sent for you. It out to me, but tell him, neighbor, don't pack anything because whatever you need is waiting for you at the palace. Hey, provisions are waiting for you, breakthroughs are waiting for you, healing is what whatever you need. Is waiting for you. Is waiting for you. Is waiting for you. This is for those who've been saying, Lord, when is my time? You feel discouraged. I want to tell you something. Never cancel out your breakthrough. Because it's taking too long. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. I came, I came for about 20 of you. That you have li literally canceled your breakthrough. Because it's taking so long. You thought it would be a year. 
It's been five years. So what I'm saying five. But the Lord said, I was maturing you for you to be able to handle the blessing. Oh. Now I'm ready for the marriage. <laughs> now I'm ready for the children. Now I'm ready for the business. Now I'm ready. I can manage it. I'm not a little girl anymore. I'm not a little boy anymore. I can handle it. Let me tell you. Sometimes you got to thank God. That God closed the doors. When you wanted them to be open. Sometimes God will close the door. Because he has something better for you. It's your season for better. It's your season for upgrade. Get ready to be celebrated. I say get ready to be celebrated. I say get ready. Oh my God. Walk around with your shoulders squared. You have been waiting for such a season. Somebody said I'm not forsaken. I'm not forsaken. I'm not forsaken. Somebody say, I'm on time. I am on time. This is my season. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. It's manifestation time. It's manifestation time. It's manifestation time. For about 50 of you, I heard God said that what you're about to see is better, better when you are expected. I say, what you're about to see, what God is ushering you into, is better than what you expected. And God said, I hid the magnitude of my blessing for you so that, so that you would open your mouth and talk to people who are with you but not for you. He said, I had to cleanse your environment. I I had to keep a secret. You think I'm giving you two bedroom house? I only have five bedrooms for you. What's coming your way? I wish I was talking to people who really believe. I wish, I wish you really believe this. When you receive a word from God and you believe it, your answer is Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Ah, somebody say, I'm not forsaken. The wait is over. Everything. Look at somebody in the eyes. Or wherever the eyes used to be. Tell them. <laughs> Everything about my life is about to change. I am going through an extreme makeover. Some people will see you in tomorrow or this week. They say, is it you? They tell them, yes, it's me. I've been upgraded. I say, I've been upgraded. My walk is different. My talk is different. I've been upgraded. From Lodabar to the king's palace. From Lodabar to the king's palace. Woman of God, woman of God, I said, try it again. Where you failed, try it again. Hallelujah. I really came here to connect you to your destiny helpers. When you made a destiny helper, like me and my friend, your papa, all of a sudden there was a 
clicking, what's going on happen? There's something that you cannot explain. There's something that you cannot explain. The Lord said, "I have people reserved for you in the baking industry. I have people reserved for you. Whatever area that you need favor from, I will release the favor of God over your life. I say, I will release the favor of God over." Mephibo chef, let me tell you a little bit. Mephibo chef, you may be seated. Was the grandson of King Saul. The son of Jonathan. Mephibo chef was crippled. And I'm talking to people who are not physically crippled. Or maybe emotionally crippled. No Financially crippled. And the thing of it is not your fault. Mephibosheth was crippled because uh, the nanny or the, the, the person who was uh, watching over him. The nurse. When she heard that Saul and Jonathan were dead. In a hurry to get Mephibosheth out of harm's way. She tripped. And Mephibosheth fell. His ankle was broken. Some of you are crippled from generational. It's not your fault. But I got good news for you. When it's your time, God doesn't care about your infirmity. I said, when it's your time, your situation cannot stop you from stepping into your provisions. Who am I talking to up in this place? Said, it's my time. It's my time. I can imagine Mephibosheth was saying, well, I will never, I was in the palace. Look, look at me now. I'm talking to people, you look at your situation and you're saying, Lord, I didn't mean to be in that situation. It just happened. And maybe you feel like you are Disfranchised, God has forsaken you. No, 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 no. When is your time? Your handicap cannot stop God from blessing you. Oh, am I talking to you up in here? Amen. Hallelujah, Lord. Mephibosheth, whose name was Shame thing, shameful, shameful thing. If, if you understand anything about the Bible, a name in the Bible was given that, that connected to the person's destiny. So every time they call you by your name, they were calling out your destiny. But I have a God that I, the God that I serve. Sometimes He will call you what you are, even though you're not there yet. Amen. Abraham did not have a child. But God called him father of many nations. <laughs> May you hear the name God is calling you. I know you are hearing every other name that people are calling you based on your condition. But I stop to tell somebody your condition is not your position. See, when you have a, a baby who is two years old or maybe a year old, and they have a condition, they use diapers, pampers. It's a condition. But when they get to two or three, the condition is over. Are you hearing me? Mm -hmm. My condition is temporary. But my position is permanent. If you give me a child, and this is not my child, and I have to change a diaper, the condition, I may, I may say I, I can't do it. But the mother, 
or the will father will deal with the condition because they know that the condition is temporary but you're glad you serve a God who's not intimidated by your condition oh, people have rejected you but God has embraced you because your condition is not your position I stop by to tell somebody God is removing the label that your condition has put on you. This is your season of supernatural restoration where God will put a new garment over you. Glory to your name, Lord. Give God the glory up in this place. Lodoba is a place of no productivity. Actually, in Lodoba, Lodoba, the man who lives there was taken advantage of Mephibosheth. In this season, whoever was mastering you, I break the yoke. Hallelujah. I break the power. Amen. You got too much potential in you Amen. to be a slave to anybody. Hallelujah. I stopped by here to proclaim your year of deliverance, <laughs> your year of liberty. <laughs> I break the yoke. I say, I break the yoke. <laughs> Somebody say, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> say goodbye. <laughs> Tell them goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for being there for me. But I can do good. I can go on by myself. There's a better place for me. I'm leaving Lodoba. I'm leaving the place of no activity. I'm leaving the place of no productivity. Oh, glory to your name, Lord. I'm no longer damaged. I say, I'm no longer damaged. All the young ladies in the house, I'm no longer damaged. I'm no longer damaged. All the young men in the house, I'm no longer damaged. You will no longer manipulate me. I know who I am and I know whose I am. Give God the glory. I've been... Because some people think that you can't do without them. Do, do me a favor. Blow them some kisses. Blow, no, 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 no. Blow. blow them some kisses. As you're moving forward, blow them some kisses. Thank you. 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 Thank you for talking about me. Thank you for letting me know because when you talk about me, that, that compelled me to go into God's presence. Because in God's presence, I was renewed. When you talk about me, that push up my praise. What, what am I talking to? Some of you, your praise, the worship that that you have not in you. It's because people talk about you. Because people left you. But look at me now. Look at me now. Look at me now. At me now. Thank you for damaging me. But now I am restored. Look at me. Oh, Do me a favor. Do me a favor. You need to take some pictures of you. You need to take some pictures. Some pictures. When you go home, take some pictures of your house. Now you can shoot a little. I will shoot. Shoot. Because you need some before and after pictures. Yeah. 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 Because some people would not believe that you were down. You got to have proof. Yes. I was down. I was damaged. But look at me. I wish you could celebrate your own self. I say, I wish you could stand on your feet and celebrate yourself. Look at me. 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 Walk, walk, walk. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me now. Look at me now. I'm driving my own car. Look at me now. I stay in my own Look at me now. I can worship God by myself. Look at me now. I can praise. Jesus. Supernatural.
restoration. Supernatural restoration. It's one moment. I'm down. Me pass. The next moment. Yes, yes, yes. One moment. I'm in Lodabar. Yes, 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 yes. With no hope. I'm not Thinking that it is over. Go on, Blaming God. Having an attitude. And the next moment, there's a knock. Now, my brothers, the king said for you, there's a knock. There's a knock. There's a knock. Pick up the phone. Pick up your phone. I said, pick up your phone. The king is calling you. Your helper is calling you. Season, make sure you have data in your cell phone. Yeah, that's There's a phone call coming before this month is over. My friend or your dad will let me. There are about 20 of you in here. There's a phone call that will change your life forever. There's a phone call. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Don't act like Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. When the king needs you, it's because the king sees potential in you. Don't look like you are desperate. Hello. Don't look like you are desperate. Value yourself. Don't sell yourself cheap. I'm not cheap. I'm not cheap. I'm not cheap. I'm valuable. I'm valuable. I'm valuable. Glory to your name, Lord. In one day. Someone say in one day. Someone say supernatural restoration. One day. In one day. Mephibosheth woke up. Mephibosheth woke up. And he was eating what's 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 a traditional dish here. Pa. Okay. Pa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was. Pop in Gusha. He was eating Pop in Gusha. Not two days Pop in Gusha, but about four, five days Pop in Gusha. One day. But before the day is over, he was in the palace. And he has his own chef. Yes, you missed that. Yes. You missed that. Yes. You missed that. You missed that. You missed that. You missed that. You, uh, one day. Yes. One day. Yes. Not one year. Yes. Not one. No, 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 no. One month. Yes. One day. Yes. So much. Yes. One day. 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 Yes. My resources yes. are about to change in one day. Yes. Yes. One day, one day, my resources are changing. My provisions are changing. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day, he woke up in Lodabar. Before the day was over, he's in the palace. One day, his location changed. Someone say, I'm moving, 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 as you do this in the natural, so shall it be here in the spiritual, so shall it be, there will be manifestation, there will be tangible manifestation, there will be tangible manifestation, your dress is changing, your dress is changing, I say your dress is changing, your dress is changing, Please, when God, when God, when God changes your address, don't give it to everybody. No, 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 I have to tell you that. The people who are so used to the damage you will not be able to handle the restored you. So let me let me let me advise you. 
Some of you, you need to stop allowing people to have easy access to your life. They call you midnight, you answer the phone. They call you one, one o'clock in the morning, you answer the phone. You are too accessible. So start acting like you're there while you are still here in the meantime. You gotta let them know if you're not call me, call me before 8 p.m. After 8.30 p.m., I don't accept call anymore. Start acting! Oh my God, hallelujah. I said, stop acting like you are desperate. Praise the Lord. It used to be back in the days when a the, when the young man was dating a young lady and he would go and pick her up. You had to climb up, go up, ring the doorbell, bring her down, open the door. But nowadays, some ladies are too desperate. You just honk the horn, bam, 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 and you keep running down. <laughs> Know your value. Know your worth. And if they cannot treat you based on your worth, tell them go to the next door. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Because I see some of you guys going to send you places. But people who are so used to you now, they're going to think that you are bougie. But that you are acting up. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You, will not, you will, not you will not go down to the basement anymore. I prophesy over you. You will not go down to the basement anymore. You are not going down to the basement anymore. You are not going down to the basement. In the name of Jesus, I open the doors of the US unto you. I open the doors of you up unto you. I open Open the doors, whatever limitation, whatever limited you, I break the limitation over your life in the name of Jesus. If somebody can buy their own house, you'll buy yours too. Receive that, receive it, receive it. Somebody can start their own business, you will start your own business too. In the name of somebody can get married, you will get married too. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see I see potential in here. I see wealth in here. I see restoration. I see restoration. I'm not just saying this to make you happy. That's what I'm seeing. Glory to your name, Lord. Amen. In one day, and I'm done. In one day. David Mephibosheth was the son of a dead king. The grandson of a dead king. But before the day is over, he's the son of a living king. Do me a favor, cut the rope. Cut the rope. To any past connection. Cut, 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 cut. Let the dead bury the dead. Hallelujah, Lord. Look, feel up. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen. And David said, I'm not doing this for you, but I'm doing this for my covenant with your late father. Oh my God. Can I take you back to Calvary? Glory to your name, Lord. The covenant of God that we serve. He said, I'm doing this not because you really deserve it. I'm restoring you not because of you, but for my name's sake. My name is called upon you. I said, my name is called upon you. When I do it, what I'm doing this year is because of my name. My name. My name. My name, my name, one day, Mephibosheth was the son of a dead king, grandson of a dead king, but before the day is over, his identity changed, at the cross, I went down one way, but when I resurrected with 
him. He calls me son, daughter, with all the privileges. When your identity changes, you are entitled to restoration of whatever you lost in the bloodline. David did not restore to Mephibosheth just what just what Jonathan had is that what D David David said I'm going deeper what in the bloodline I'm going to restore what your granddaddy what you what am I talking to I'm going to restore what your grandparents what your great 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 because if it's in your bloodline, it is yours. That's why it's not natural restoration. It's supernatural. 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 You are about to be overtaken. You are about to be overtaken with blessings from the north, from the south, from the east, and from the west. Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Turn around. Watch this now. The same God, Ziba, Ziba, who identified with Fibo Chef. By his handicap. Some people are, are identifying you by your condition. But the same people who saw you going down. Hallelujah. I said the same people. See, sometimes God will put your pen on public display. Everybody will know about your business. But when God elevates you, they will testify. There's got to be God in your life. I will list a grace over you in this season that before December 31st, your enemies will testify of God's goodness and mercies over you. Say, so neighbor, my enemies, they're about to change their opinion of me. I'm done. The people of the island of Malta, when they saw the serpent, the snake, snatch itself into Paul's hands, they said, but surely it was a murder. But after a while, when nothing happened, they changed their mind. They said, it must be a God. Those who talk about you, like a junkyard dog, they're about to say, but I was, I, I was wrong. You, you, you are a woman of God. I was wrong. You are a man of God. Because your status is changing. I, I didn't say it's about to change. As of today, when you leave this ground, your status has changed. You no longer in Lodabar but now you are in the palace if you believe so put your hands together and give God the glory 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 Lift your hands to heaven. Lift your hands to heaven. Being restored is one thing. But I want to prophesy that you will not no longer be damaged. You will no longer lose your harvest. 
no generational demon will steal your harvest in this season no Amalekites will steal your harvest strong anointing there's a strong anointing here there's a strong glory here there's a strong glory here there's a strong glory here I release wisdom new strategies new ideas over you right now and I speak I call on all your destiny helpers to be connected to you so from this day until the end of this year whenever you leave your house leave your house with the mindset that I'm about, I'm about to, to be connected to my destiny helper wherever you go dress the part don't dress like you are desperate don't dress like you are damaged so restoration is yours restoration is yours restoration is yours restoration is yours I said restoration is yours I said restoration is yours, said, restoration is yours. possess it restoration is yours restoration is yours I hear the sound of visa stamping visa visa approval 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 approval, approval. 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 wherever you are denied God said I've just changed From Lodabar to the king's stable. Oh yes, God in my course. Did you catch that? From Lodabar to the king's stable. We are definitely the Macos. From a place where you are tolerating to the place where you are celebrating. God bless you. God bless you.